Another slow day for AMC, the movie theater stock. I'm going to go ahead and share with you what little bit of information that I do have before I do get forward in this video. I want to go ahead and say a special shout out. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Double shout out. Thank you to Rem AG. Do appreciate it. There is a link in the description if you guys would like to join that for as little as $1 a month. Also, please keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinions, my own research. I highly encourage you guys to do your own research. A little public disclaimer right here for you guys. Based on my channel, the fact that you know I mostly talk about cryptocurrencies, the only stock that I'm talking about right now is AMC. I support the movement. I've been supporting it for a long time. Um, just unfortunately, as many videos as I've been doing on this, I don't have that big of a voice on this. And I feel like my time could be invested into making videos on other things to get up on the channel. Um, also, please keep in mind, this is what I do for a living. So there is that little bit of an element too where I, I get paid off the YouTube ad revenue. So I gotta try and find content that's a little bit more relevant. But here's the plan, okay? Let me go and elaborate on that. If there's major news events that come out with AMC, I am happy to do more videos on it. When it's really slow days like this, I just don't really feel like I'm adding enough value my voice isn't big enough in the AMC movie theater community for it to really make much sense regardless. So it's a combination of things. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from uh, on this. But just to clarify, I'm not selling my AMC stock right now. I'm still continuing to hold. I've been holding for a long time. I'm really hoping for the mother of all short squeezes. And yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the rest of the content, okay? So as we can see here, there's volume of 27 point. To 1 million, very, very low once again. I mean, we're still below the 30 million shares range. And as it is, the price dropped down 5.04%. Surprising, but not surprising with the low amount of volume that we have. And as we can actually see right here, looking at it from this perspective, guess what? It's almost, <laughs> it's almost exactly in the middle of this big bull pennant flag formation which just sort of signifies that they are trying to make this be delayed as long as humanly possible. They are pushing this thing as long as humanly possible to make sure that people get frustrated, they start turning on each other, which I was kind of seeing over in the AMC uh, subreddit. People are starting to try and attack the AMC YouTube influencers basically pointing fingers at them saying like, hey, look, you guys are going out and you're buying these fancy cars and these fancy homes and things. And meanwhile, all the rest of us, all we're doing is just holding. And I guess the sentiment is that the YouTubers, they could just be taking all that money, putting it into AMC to help with the movement that they're trying to defend, fully commit to it. And that would actually help us hopefully have this squeeze much sooner instead of just letting it kind of drag on, right? The more people that... FOMO into it, then realistically, the higher the probability that it's going to do this crazy squeeze, which I get the logic. It's not financial advice. You know, again, I'm not a financial advisor, but yeah, it's very interesting with what's going on. At the same time, it's your money. Like if people want to go and actually live life a little bit. We only live life once, right? For how long? Who knows? It could be taken away tomorrow. It happens. So maybe some people are like, you know, I got enough money, I can finally be able to buy a house. So they put their money into that. It's up to every individual to make their own decisions on that. As this is, it looks like it could squeeze over to January 4th until there's a key decisive move. But right now it has dropped down and it's in the median zone. RSI hasn't really moved much either. Some other key metrics that we have here, 4.8 million shares available to borrow. We have 37,497 ETF shares available to borrow. The fee borrow rate is down to 0.5% a measly 0.5%. And guess what? Call options, lo and behold, 191,524 call options are currently out of the money. People are still buying call options. I've been talking about this week after week after week and more keep expiring out of the money. And guess what? It's just more and more and more and more and more and more and more money to the market makers. It's literally just handing them free money. And people keep doing it. We keep talking about it and people keep doing it. Dark pool data still not being reported. 
uh, as far as for the AMC Stonko Tracker website. The dark pool data over here, we got a negative 120 million shares. That's negative 4.8 billion dollars. We have Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC Movie Theaters. He said, with big movies, we expect that AMC theaters could be busier than since 2019. Our theaters staffs have been smiling and working hard on the pandemic front lines for a long time now, doing their best, serving many millions of guests. Give them a big hello when you go to the movies. It's a very nice little statement. I like that. And then lastly here is that we have, as far as the call options go, with the $39 strike price, we have 8,488 call options that are in the money, which is nice. But again, you've got all of these that are currently out of the money. We got a ton of that is out of the money. If we get over to $45 range, looks really good. $50 is ideally the best case scenario, right? Uh, well, I mean, best case scenario would be that it just smashes through all of these, but <laughs> let's be a little bit more realistic for the time frame of what we got going on right now. People getting ready to go out of town for Thanksgiving and the, the uh, stock market, I believe, is supposed to be closed for Thanksgiving as well. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. I do have referral links in the description. If you guys want to get free cryptocurrency or free stock, feel free to check those out. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. It does help us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next episode.